Hi everyone, I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared and we're going to do another meal in a jar tonight. I'm going to do one tonight that's going to um, highlight the kale that's on sale. Tonight is the last night of this Black Friday sale. It ends at midnight mountain time. So if you are on the east coast with me, I think that's about 2 a.m. So if you're still up shopping in the middle of the night, you can grab some specials from our Black Friday sale. Um, the kale is 25% off and so there's uh, I was going to do a Zuppa Toscana recipe, which is basically, um, it's an Olive Garden recipe. It's a soup they have at Olive Garden. It's a super popular soup for them, I guess, because there's a million and one copycat recipes for it. Uh, I've never had it at Olive Garden, so if you've had it at Olive Garden, um, let me know what you think of it. But I have made it myself once when I bought a huge bag of kale that I had to use up, so I used a copycat recipe. Um, so I've got a Thrive Life, a Thrivalized copycat recipe that we're going to do tonight for a meal in the jar. Just to show you a way that you can use the kale. You can also use it um, in smoothies. People love to use it in smoothies, our spinach and our kale, because you know, they're, you're not going to have to worry about them going slimy in your fridge. They're just ready when you need them to put in any time. So, okay. The Supa Toscano is going to start with a quarter cup of the Thrive Sour Cream Powder. So we're going to do, because this is a creamy soup, which is our favorite kind of soup. And next we've got three tablespoons of our velouté, which is our chicken gravy. And this is gluten free, just like all of our sauce mixes. Let's see, one. three tablespoons of that, a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. You remember from yesterday's video, I don't have any Thrive bouillon right now, so I'm just using up a jar of just regular old herb ox bouillon from the store. So we'll do a tablespoon of that, and that should be fine. Okay, we've got three tablespoons of chopped onions. Now I am out of the chopped onions right now, so I only have the onion slices, which is a bigger piece of onion. I think if you had to have one or the other, it's probably better to have the slices, because if you think about it, you can always make them smaller. But if you want the bigger pieces, you can't make your chopped onion bigger. But for this, I kind of want the smaller pieces, so I'm just gonna show you a way that you can make things smaller pretty easily if you want to. So we need three tablespoons of, so I'm gonna take three tablespoons of the onion slices and tonight I'm just gonna put them right into a baggie. And you can, um, you can even do this with your hands. If this was a different vegetable, I'd probably just crunch it up with my hands a little bit, but I don't want my hands to smell like onions all night. So I'm gonna use a baggie and I'm just gonna kinda, oops, pound it with my meat mallet. Just gently pound it until my pieces are a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna dump that right in there. So there's my chopped onion. Three tablespoons, okay. We have got a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. That's gonna be one, two clicks. My handy little dispenser. Okay, we've got a half a teaspoon of the chef's choice. I have not put this, this is our signature seasoning blend. I have not put this into one of my handy little spice dispensers yet. So I'm gonna have to measure this one. Half a teaspoon, put it in there. Okay, we, now we're getting to the big stuff. So we've got this recipe actually called for spinach, but the soup traditionally has kale. And I believe when this recipe was written, Thrive Life did not have freeze-dried kale, so that's why they used um, the spinach instead. Now, I have seen several recipes that used pinto beans, and I don't remember there being pinto beans in the original soup, and I didn't want pinto beans in mine, so I'm not putting them in, but if you have had the soup at Olive Garden, can you tell me if it has pinto beans in it or not? Because um, I'm just curious why they would put pinto beans in. Okay, so this is gonna have three quarters of a cup of the Thrive Kale. So let's go one, two, 
three of my quarter cup. Now I never thought about it before, but um, I used to always measure three quarters of a cup with a half cup measure and a quarter cup measure, always. Never even occurred to me to use the quarter cup three times until one of my kids asked me, like within the last year, why I didn't just use three one quarter cups. So I had never thought of that before. I'm curious to know how everybody else measures three quarters of a cup. Do you use a half and a quarter? Or do you use three one quarters? Because it never even occurred to me till just recently that I could even do that. Uh, okay, three quarters a cup of the diced potatoes. So here we've got the potato dices. So we'll do this again. One, two, three. Three quarters of a cup. This is not going to be a terribly full jar like we had last night. This is actually going to be probably not even full all the way to the top, which is fine. Now we need three quarters of a cup of the sausage crumbles, which y'all I have realized I absolutely love snacking on these just dry. It's probably my new favorite keto snack. These are delicious just snacking on them. I had a meant to use it tonight, but I had a container that we had separated some out into for something and we, we didn't use it and I'd forgotten about it. So I was going to use it. I wanted to make sure it was sausage. So I took a taste and it is really good. Just dry out of the can if you need a snack. Okay. This, um, let's see. Okay. I, the only thing I have left is mashed potatoes, mashed potato flakes, and this is going to thicken it up. You can use mashed potato flakes. Um, these are the Thrive mashed potatoes, but you could use any kind of mashed potato flakes. And you can always use that to thicken any kind of creamy soup that you're making. So three quarter cup of this. One, maybe this is going to be full. Two. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be pretty full. I underestimated that. One, two, three. So there's our three quarters of a cup. All right, so. It's actually not terribly full. I don't know if you can see, there's actually probably about an inch left. But see how pretty that looks? You've got the layers with the kale and the potatoes and the sausage. Put the lid on this. So now that we've done the Zuppa Toscano soup meal in a jar, I'm going to do a little bit different variation with the same flavors. It's also going to use the kale. But when I was searching the Thrive Life website for the recipe I wanted to use for the soup, and the website is wickedprepared.thrivelife.com and they have a recipe section where you can find all sorts of recipes. But I found one that was for a Zupa skillet and this family who posted this said that they loved the soup but they preferred skillet meals and pasta meals better than soup. And that's kind of true for our family too, like we're not big soup eaters, we like it if it's thick and creamy and hearty but we'd much rather have something different. So I thought this would be a really good one to try because also everything I've done for you guys so far has been soups. So I wanted you to see that there's more to meals in a jar than just soups. It just happens to be what I've been doing so far. And it, the meals in a jar are really great. It only took me probably about five minutes to do that last one. And it would have been even quicker if I wasn't talking to you all. But really you can put them together quickly. And if you, I'm making one at a time because these are mostly recipes that I'm trying out for the first time. But if you have a tried and true family favorite, you can set out 10 or 12 jars and make 10 or 12 jars all at once, just assembly line, scoop, dump, scoop, dump. No time at all, you'll have 10 or 12 meals that you can put on your shelf. And a meals in a jar is kind of like the new freezer cooking. It's freezer cooking without a freezer, which is really wonderful. Cause right now I have absolutely no space in my freezer. I can't even fit you know, anything in my freezer that I need to put in there. I've got stuff sitting outside in the cold because I don't have room in my freezer. But these can sit right on the shelf and you don't have to remember to thaw them and they're ready whenever you want them. And if you're using a quart size mason jar, it usually would feed about four to six people, the meal that you make in a quart size jar. Of course, that depends on who you're feeding. You know, if you're feeding small children, they're not gonna eat as much as teenage boys and men, so you would be able to feed more people. It also depends on what you're serving with your meal in a jar. If you have a lot of side dishes, salad, bread, whatever you have, just like any other meal. So four to six people you can usually serve with a quart size meal in a jar. Sometimes people with big families will take two of the quart size and make them up. 
You can also make it smaller. If you're a smaller family, you can cut everything in half and put it in a pint jar. Or if you have a, you know, a college student or a young uh, person out on their own for the first time that you want to give them some meals, a lot of people will make them in little smaller pint jars or you know, something smaller, half size for one or two people. So, okay, the Zupa skillet is going to start with the bechamel sauce that we used last night. That's our creamy white sauce. It's gluten free, like all of our sauce mixes. Three quarters cup of that. So, measure that with this. One, two, three. Okay, and then it calls for three quarters teaspoon of our Thrive Life garlic, our new freeze dried garlic. So this must be a really new recipe because the garlic has only been out for about a month or so. So let's see, that's going to be about, about three quarters right there. Okay, this also calls for the spinach, but we're going to use our kale. Okay, we're going to do, let me get this cleaned out. Three quarters of a cup of the kale. One, two, three. Okay. okay, and we want a half cup of the potato dices. to have potatoes and pasta in the same dish so I almost left these out but I figured I'd give it a try and see how it was okay this calls for some bacon bits actually which is not a Thrive Life product it's just bacon bits I was going to leave them out because anytime you add something like this you're gonna lower the shelf life on your jar but these bacon bits have a shelf life of about one year and so that's gonna be the longest you would want to store this even with an oxygen absorber but we're planning on using these pretty quickly, so I decided I would put the bacon bits in because we'll be using it within a few weeks. But otherwise, you could um, you could just leave the bacon out and you could sprinkle it on top of your servings when you served it after you cooked it up. Or you could just add it in right before you cooked it. So a half a cup of bacon bits. Thrive Life does not have bacon bits. I think they used to have bacon TVP but they don't have any of the TVP anymore, which is kind of a shame because my daughter's a vegetarian or sort of a vegetarian and she would love that. Okay, um, so we've got the kale in there, the bacon, chopped onions, a half a cup of chopped onions. I'm gonna use the onion slices and this time I'm not gonna break them up because I think in the skillet meal it would be fine to have the bigger pieces of the onion. Okay, so the onions and the sausage, a half a cup of sausage. I forgot to use this little container I'm trying to use up that I've been snacking out of. There is, oh, that's gonna be almost perfect. So there we go. That is, now this is supposed to fit a cup of noodles. And I don't know how they think I'm going to put a cup of noodles into this jar. If I had known, I would have put the powders on the top. It even says to add as many extra noodles as you can fit, but I don't even think I'm going to fit a cup. So let's see. It says noodles of choice. So I've got these curly noodles. That's what it shows in the picture that they use. So. Wow. Not sure how they fit that all in their jar. I don't have, you can push it down. I'm gonna push it down some actually. I think that will help. It's 
always driven me crazy when I see people do this on their videos because they're putting their hands in the food, but my hands are clean and it's gonna be us eating this, so I guess we're okay. I actually fit the cup of noodles. If I can get the lid on this, it will be a small miracle. I'm certainly not getting any extra noodles in this jar. Let's crank it down tight. Ooh. I actually got it. There you go, that's a different meal in a jar. A pasta skillet meal, a Zupa skillet. And this says it serves four, and when you're ready to cook it, you just basically dump this into the pot with boiling water and cook it until the noodles are tender and the sauce will thicken up. And you'll have a delicious skillet meal for four. Okay, so if you want to shop the uh, Black Friday sale, it's going on the rest of tonight till about till 12 uh, midnight mountain time. You would shop at wickedprepared.thrivelife.com. The kale is on sale. We've got a lot of sale items, honestly. If I was gonna recommend one thing, I think from this sale, the Colby Jack cheese is, it's a great deal. It's 40% off. And the cheeses and meats are always a really big ticket item. So when you can get a really good deal on one of those, you wanna grab it. The cheese refresh is really wonderful. It just, a couple tablespoons of cold water, it turns right back into cheese, it'll melt. It's shreds of cheese. So that would be a really great one to grab from this sale. wickedprepared.thrivelife.com. Thank you for cooking with me.